Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this dual caster video. We'll be taking a look at a duel between Shock Strapper 77 in the red at 1055 rating and in the blue at 746 rating, Cool Kid 46. Both with the 15 card extra deck, making it unlikely there's any monarchs involved. Let's see what is. Thunder Seahorse is discarded, that makes Hunters likely. Phylons, possibly. Looks like Hunters. Um. Those are not the same name. Likely misclick returns the card. I assume that can now a Mahander will be added. Yes, indeed. Are there no others? Sorry, busy. No recording, but still. If you need any help after this recording, I will come and help. isn't in the field. So it's a Watts hundred combo. Possible. Both level four light thunders. Quite, well, hunters definitely. There's some of them for Watts. Pheasant being one of them. Giraffe. I'm not sure about Cobra. Cobra three or four. Anyway, Upshot Goblin comes out. Extra card for Cool Kid. Those are Teller Knights it is on their side. I haven't seen Teller Knights in a little bit. Here comes an effect from Deneb. Altair. Unless they already have one, I assume there will be. Yep, there's Altair. Fancy XCs. Just an attack, both are possible. Attack it is. Vega attacks pheasant. Would be 200 damage. I assume the face down can do something, or maybe an honest in hand, otherwise they wouldn't just leave. Okay, that blazing mirror force. It take damage to the half the combined original attack of the destroyed monsters. Special Zuno Kalhai. Didn't really do the chain in the right order because we call I should have only sent half the blazing mirror force was done resolving. Whoops. There we go. I should have noticed the copy paste thing was still on my YouTube. YouTube channel. I thought I copied the Blazing Mirror first effect. Must have gone wrong when I clicked the button or something. Um. Oh, I said Dragon Souls comes out. I missed actually what I'm gonna think they attacked. Yeah, Mirror Force. Monster destroyed, unfortunately. Good. Vega, Altair, our tail's gonna bring out Deneb, and it's over. And normally I would end it here, but this was quite a quick duel, so I th think I'll wait for the next one. Do I? Hmm. No. difference is that going to make? Depending on how, what happens in the duel, like I might just go for the next duel as well. This is quite an interesting thing though.
Why would they want me to quit and then rejoin? They, they can't suddenly turn off watchers. So I'm a little surprised. I can quit and rejoin. They constantly turn off watchers. I can do that for them. Whoop, whoop. Why did I completely log off? Was it shot gaming? 777? I don't remember. Um, um, do room. <laughs> Watch, let's see if we can find him. Um, help. There were sevens in here. I could find them. Seven, seven. Yes, found them. Okay, let's see what we missed. Bill gets out of their turn after Goblin, just an Altair, so they probably didn't have the greatest opening hand. Only taking 700 because they hadn't taken the life points gained from Officer Goblin yet, by the looks of things. See, th this is why you play it properly, don't take shortcuts. Because this could have easily been avoided. If they would have just gained for Upset and then taken for Altair. Same amount of damage, no confusion, no wait. This is why I'm always exact, like, do this, do it properly, do it in the right order, to avoid confusions like this. This is only a really small issue, costs like 5 to 10 seconds, but this is avoided if you would just wait for Upset Goblin, like the life point gain to happen, then send it to the graveyard, then set your card, summon your altar, attack directly, things like that. Do not wait and then soon the opponent will do it at some point anyway. Yeah. Sharafa attacks directly. And then no effects into the end phase of the turn, which could work out. They might want to use a Fiendish Chain at this point if they have it. Decided not to. What giraffe's effect goes off? If it, it doesn't even sort of chain. Not sure. There's no, like, colons or semicolons here, so it's not too clear. The first one's definitely continuous. I'm not sure on the second one's continuous now. If this is with problem solving card text, then it's obviously continuous because there's no colons or semicolons. But, I'm sure. Watch for Rafa's attack by Altair, no new monsters yet. <coughs> and Watch for Rafa's taken out. It's more like a Watt Dick than a Hunter Dick. There was no Hunter. If look at the exact effects to know how it works, maybe it's just just a level four thunder. In which case, it'll be Watts with a little bit of hunter support. <clears throat> then I'm summoned. Very nice to have Vega for later. Chances are they have like a waste of dragon swords. That was late. That was late. But no, they, they might have had ten seconds. So uh, they added Vega. They added Vega. Yeah, I was thinking. They added Vega. Otherwise they would be cheating. Yay, it's hailing again. I did so earlier this morning as well. I can still predict the weather because they've actually watched the weather forecast yesterday and knew exactly when to go out to buy a new game. I bought Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. And after the after the first hailstorm, well, hailstorm was only 10 minutes, I went out to get a, a haircut. Pretty nice. Alright. That was just uh, back to Psalm Strike and Denev. I said it was a little late because a few moves were made, but not a lot of response time was given. Uh, they didn't ask for a response either, which is nece which isn't necessary. I generally just give response time instead of asking for a K. Ooh, interesting way to use Max E and Moon Mirror Shield. 
Ah, oh, unfortunate. Didn't work out Phoenix Chen, yeah. This is likely the only way Shark Scrapper would get around it. So they've likely lost the match at this point if they have to resort to Max C with Moon Mirror Shield. Max, if second Max C does come out, then Eb card is drawn, so that can help out. I still have to watch out for an attack, because Moon Mirror Shield will still apply. However, I expect Trevor to come out. I expect Stellar Knight Trevor. Here comes another Altair. I expect Trevor, because that's an easy way around Moon Mirror Shield. Del Taros is supposed to good work, and still destroy Moon Mirror. Doesn't it stop monsters, like... Cards to be activated in response to uh, Talonite summons, some things like bottomless. I don't remember for certain, I think that's it though. Let's see what they decide to do. Looking at the extra deck, deciding between a few different cards, or possibly they already know they're using Trevor. They just want to make sure they get the effect exactly right so they don't make a misplay or a misjudgment on anything. There's a thing with Moon Mirror Shield, which I know because I actually use Moon Mirror Shield in a, in a deck. It's mandatory to send it back to the top, of, top or bottom of the deck, so you have to get the 500 life points. Del Taros, it is. But I put it in the picture. It looks a little less clear in a way. Monster, you can attach an excuse material, target a card, destroy it. Deneb, I assume, will go to the graveyard as it detached, so that Altair can summon it back next turn. Moon Mirror Shield, I assume, will be the card that's destroyed. Now you can say, hey, okay, the only thing they can respond with is Solemn Warning, and considering they drew the card, there's no Solemn Warning, you, they can't play Torrential Tribute or Bottomless, you can the Terror Suspect. Yeah. That's a nice way to do it. If this card is sent from the fields of the grave, which did happen, you can switch summon a Telonite monster from hand or deck. Unokahai? In defense position, I guess, because of Maxi. Maybe actually a Vega? No. Oh, the Moon Mirror should also works in that defense. Otherwise, I thought, go for Vega in defense. Just so they would. The opponent, in this case with Max C, would be a 1300 attack, which can't pass the 1600 defensive Vega, but it also works on the defense, whichever is higher. So, if Vega would be in defense, Max C would go for it. Gunnikai right. is summoned, sent another den of the grave to be used later on. To be used with Call of the Haunted with Altair, things like that. They don't attack because they know the Moon Mirror Shield will uh, be annoying for them. Maybe they summon it in another attack because they have it. Honest, no, they don't. No, they have Vega and. Upside Goblin comes out, what Cobra? Give me a nice direct attack. It is a level 4 monster indeed. Phoenix Shin comes out though. Max C already can attack. Messenger of Peace does come out. However, if a Delteros is summoned, it can get around it. And Shock Scrapper only has 2100 life points left, so. Delteros could work, but just getting rid of the Messenger of Peace, attacking into Cobra can do a lot of damage. Although Trevor, yeah, I believe Trevor has 2100 attack. So Trevor into attack, Trevor in attack mode, setting everything back to the hand will work out. Phoenix Jam would also go back in the, back to the hand, so they can be reapplied to the Max in the White Cobra. I think it'll be Trevor. Then up to add something. They have a Vega. Third Deneb, another Maxi. There's a third one. Very late response though, if Cool Kid allows the draw. Again, quite late response, I didn't say thinking, although it may have been a response and I didn't keep track of that. Cool Kid seems to be fine with it. Trevor summoned, as expected, all cards on the field are returned to the hand. Is there another Solemn Strike? Nope! The direct attack was expected by uh, Shock Scrapper. Cool Kid did well with their Teller Knights to take victory against Shock Scrapper's Watt deck. That was a dual cast video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in tomorrow's daily Yu Gi Oh! video. Goodbye.